What's going on ladies and gents, your boy David Gamma repping Saiga City Gamers. And finally, I have a few minutes to sit down and talk to you guys about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game was released with the Nintendo Switch earlier during this month. And I spent a little over 10 hours playing the game, which is not a lot considering many people have spent hundreds of hours playing this game. In some cases, they haven't even completed it. If you played any Zelda game, do you understand how and why that is possible? You will absolutely lose track of time playing this game. Now, I'm going to give you guys a very simple, straightforward review, which is nothing more than my opinion, you know, like any other review. I'm an 80s baby. I grew up during the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega era. I did have the original Zelda, and I played the adventures of Link, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, the whole nine. So, of course, nostalgia played a huge factor in what I felt when I played this game. And again, it's going to be a very simple review. I'm going to cover just the basics, what I think, what I feel, and at the end, I will give you guys a score of the game. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. One of the first things that I noticed when I first started the game that left me in awe was the immense size of the world that Zelda takes place in. There's no shortage in variety and conditions of the different areas that exist. You have mountainous regions, land, sea, sky, hot, cold, caves, shrines, and the list goes on. All of these different areas contain a variety of challenges, many things to explore, mysteries, puzzles, easter eggs. Breath of the Wild absolutely delivers in this area. Next up is the story. Throughout the years, Zelda has become synonymous with great storylines. Breath of the Wild is no exception. It's not your typical action-adventure RPG or beat-em-up where you can skip all the dialogue, make it through the end of the game and still enjoy it. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You have to pay very close attention to the dialogue that's happening in the game. In fact, I encourage you to read all the text Read all the signs, talk to people in the villages, gather as many clues as you can, pay close attention to the cutscenes as this adds great depth, value, and is one of the more intriguing aspects of Breath of the Wild. Now, let's talk about the menus. As I said earlier, you will absolutely lose track of time playing this game, but sometimes you also will lose focus. Plenty of side missions, things to do, things that will distract you. However, if you're trying to make real progress, all you need to do is go back to the adventure log and there's a log of all the main quest. Next up, one of my favorite is a stamp feature. This enables you to place a marker anywhere on the map. And the cool thing about it, you can choose the icon that you would like to use. So if you came across an area that you would like to explore later on, maybe there were some enemies, maybe you'll place a sword or a skull or something indicating what you need to do when you return. Absolutely useful within the game. Next up is the stamina will. In Breath of the Wild, Link has abilities such as swimming, running, climbing, soaring through the skies, and a few other things that does require stamina. Now, as you do those things, your stamina will decrease. If you run out while you're performing those actions, it could lead to a very detrimental situation. So you have to use it in moderation, which adds a very healthy balance to the game. However, I did mention you can jump. Breath of the Wild is the first 3D Zelda game that enables you to freely jump, which is an awesome feature as well. Then, of course, you have your inventory. Lately, a lot of games have focused on management or inventory management, as I should say, becoming a more and more important feature. Breath of the Wild does an amazing job in organizing everything, making it very user friendly, knowing exactly what to do and where to go to get what you want as you need it. You can pause the game and hop right into the menu and get some items that will power you up give you stamina and a few other things. You have your weapons, your bow and arrow, you have your uh, 
attire, you have your food, and you have your cooked foods. All of these things are definitely easy to use, easy to manage. And then you have your up, down, left, right arrows as quick selections for the same items as well. So, the only gripe that I have with the game, you use the analog stick to move around. When you press down on it, you crouch. Often I find myself crouching accidentally, especially during combat, as a result of this. Not sure if it's a Joy-Con issue and I should try out the Pro Controller. In either event, I really wish we had the option to manually select the crouch. Outside of that, the game is amazing. Absolutely breathtaking. Final verdict. Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda receives Now go out there and get your hands on the copy of Breath of the Wild, but don't get burned. <laughs>